Right, today's short video is going to be to try and fix our strimmer slash hedge trimmer here. Um, now I did a video on this tool maybe three years ago uh, when I bought it and there was mixed comments from people who had bought, bought it and had kind of mixed reviews from it. And of course we all know you buy budget and you've got to accept that there's going to be some compromises. Now I've used this three or four times every year maybe a little bit more than that um, for the past three years and not had a single problem until I had the inevitable go wrong which is the fuel line which is a well-known issue with these cheap petrol motors. So yes of course before you all say it we'd all love to just splash the cash and get a still or a Husqvarna or something like that that we know is not going to be an issue but if you are going to go for a budget type tool petrol tool you've got to accept there's going to be some compromises and the compromise with this tool is that the fuel line uh, was liable to perish and degrade and that's what's happened and inside there it's um it's basically come apart and it's dropped inside so i picked up some fuel line on amazon which is supposedly the same size this has uh, been a very popular um tool in the uk but it's also had a very high return rate but most of the time the problem is with this fuel line now you can see here where it's snapped off. That's just where this fuel line's perished. Now I've bought some replacement hose, which I think is that, that same type. So we may end up replacing all of them if it's easy to do. Otherwise we'll just replace that section and hope that these ones hold out a little bit longer. These ones just go off to the, uh, to the priming bubble. This is where it snapped off in two pieces. So one was where it entered the bottle and again halfway down where it goes down to this little pickup filter. It just perished and you can tell it's really quite soft and perished there. So all being well, we can replace that. All right, so we need to leave enough length on that to get to the bottom of that tank. Then we need to work out, it's got a come through that little grommet onto there. So let's see if we can take that bit off. All right, that looks like it's a good size. So we need to go through there. Through there. Oh, I'm happy that that's where we want it at the bottom of that tank it's just right sat nice and flush on the bottom there so let's cut there to there give it a little bit of slack mm, now is it going to fit over there all right it's proven pretty hard to get on that last bit so bit of boiling water or hot water to so hopefully soften off that hose if I can get some slack on it. I believe we've done it, we've replaced what was perished at least. That's all fine, that's all fine. So we just need to top up with some clean fuel. Let's see if it all works. We've got fuel to here. There we go. It's coming back down. Now where's the air getting in? There. Ah, oh, as if it was that easy. I can see there's no air bubbles in the new fuel line we've put in pick it on the pickup. As it's come through on the other side, there must be a tiny split there because I can see it pulling in air bubbles. Let's that bit off. All right, take two. Let's see if we can prime it now. Uh, 
I'm still uh, getting in. I might be okay, actually. I mean, the carb's got to get air into it, so maybe that's all that is. Yeah, let's see if it starts up. Got there in the end. Seems to be running, running all right now. Um, I have to go off to work. Boo, hiss. Uh, but when I get back, I've got about 40 meters of hedging to cut back, including the hedge at the front of the house, which we planted a couple of years ago, and a lot of people have been asking how it's getting on. So I will show you that this afternoon.